Tim Goring here, making luck with Sandler, talking about Sandler rule number 38. Don't get stuck in reverse. So here's what I mean. We just talked about answering every question with a question. We call that reversing. But it's like learning karate. You know, once you learn karate, you can't go around town kicking all the other kids. Same thing with this reversing strategy. It can become condescending. It can become obnoxious. It can sound manipulative. And I don't want to think people to think we're manipulating them. What we're trying to do is lead them to something that'll be good for them. So the idea is sometimes if, if avoiding the question by asking a question is going to come off as condescending, then don't avoid it. Acknowledge it. Thank you very much for asking that. It's my favorite acknowledgement when I've got to answer a direct question. Then answer it right? and then reverse it. So when can we get started, Tim? Thanks a lot for asking that. And we probably can get started right away, but that may not be the reason you're asking it. Why did you ask that question? That's the reverse, right? Or maybe, um, hey, thanks a lot for getting right to the point. We're going to be between this price and this other price. Is that even close to what you had in mind? Acknowledge it, soften it, answer it, and then reverse it. There are emotional implications to what you're saying. And if you freak people out, if they think they're in an interrogation, they're going to shut down. And I don't want to shut people down. Well, I don't want to be challenging everything that they say. It's not a cross-examination. It's not a contest. So the softener, that acknowledgement, is going to take you to your nurturing parent, where you can get permission. You can get consent to ask questions. Remember, asking the questions is for them, not you. You want to make sure that you're answering the right question. All right. Make it a great day.